been about a week. And I wanted to show the process. Looks like our lotus seeds are getting a little bigger. And we've already got some sprouts coming out. And hopefully in just a, a few more weeks we will have some lily pads to put in the pond. Okay, it has been about 13 days. At least one of the shoots is long enough to go ahead and transplant. So we're going to go ahead and get that one started, but we'll film it so that you can see what to do with the shoots once they get long enough. Alright, now that our sprouts are about six inches long, uh, the next thing that we want to do is go ahead and get them anchored and get them into the soil. Then they'll spend about two weeks in kind of a little incubation pot before we can put them out into the pond because we don't want the goldfish to eat them up before they're big enough to. Now for the anchor, easiest thing to do is just some plain old non-drying clay. Roll that into a little tube there. And you're going to wrap it gently, gently, gently around your seed. You don't want to impede the growth. You just want it to kind of hold it down into your clay dirt so that it doesn't float away. So we'll get that on there. Yep. And we're just going to set them over here in the pot. And here we've just got some moist clay, good sandy clay. Works best. And just work them on down inside there. And then from here they'll go into the incubation pot. I'll get the rest of these little guys ready and then we'll keep it going. So we've got all of our sprouts into the soil. Ended up with five. And next thing that we'll do is put them into the little incubation pot. Here in just a few more days we should have some, some lily pads. Okay. Now we've got our little sprouts into the incubation pot, which is just a five gallon tote. And we'll check back in on them in a couple of days and see what we've got. Thanks for watching part two.